Today on Sci Guys, Paper Rockets. Welcome to Sci Guys. I'm Ryan. And I'm Mark. And on today's episode, we're going to be making paper rockets. Whoosh. I see you're still a rocket. I'm still a rocket. You're still a rocket. Physical propulsion is the act of moving an object using force generated through mechanical means, in this case pressure. This differs from chemical propulsion in that no chemical reaction is occurring, as in our previous episode. The equipment you're going to need for this episode includes half-inch PVC pipe cut into two lengths which are a foot long and two lengths that are short, some half-inch PVC elbows, some brightly colored cardstock paper, duct tape and electrical tape, an empty two liter bottle, and some scissors and a pen. Although we're not dealing with anything hazardous in this episode, we still recommend the use of eye protection as we are dealing with projectiles. The first step in our experiment is to build our launcher. Take your empty two liter bottle and your first length of foot long PVC pipe and put one end of the pipe into the bottle. If it's a little loose, take a little bit of tape and wrap it around one end of the pipe before putting it into the bottle. Now, take your first elbow joint and put it on the other end of your pipe. Take your first short length of pipe and put it into the elbow joint. Take your second elbow joint and attach it to your short length of pipe, aiming the joint away from the bottle. Finally, take your second piece of foot-long PVC pipe and put it into the second elbow joint. With all your pieces of pipe connected together, wrap duct tape around all of the connection points so they are sealed and air cannot get out. Next, take a small piece of pipe and tape it to the middle portion where the pipe bends in your launcher. This will help raise up the middle point in the pipe so that it's level with the bottle. When you're done, your launcher should look something like this. Our next step is to build our rocket. Take a length of PVC tubing and tightly wrap some of the cardstock around it. Make sure that the tightly rolled paper easily slides on and off the PVC tubing. With the paper rolled, tape the seam down with some electrical tape. Now use either the electrical or the duct tape to cover the end of your paper roll. Make sure to use enough tape to completely cover the hole. The next step is to make the cone of the rocket. Take a second piece of cardstock and roll one side of it into a tight cone. Use some electrical tape to tape the seam of your cone. Take the taped end of your roll, place it inside the cone while feeling for the end of the roll. Then use your scissors and cut off the excess of the cone at that point. Take your new small cone and attach it to the body of your rocket with a couple pieces of electrical tape. The last step is to make some fins for our rocket. Simply take a scrap piece of paper, draw three similar triangles on it, and cut them out using your scissors. Once you have your fins cut out, attach them to your rocket using some electrical tape. Your final rocket should look something like this. With our rocket and launcher constructed, we're ready to move outside. With your launcher on the ground, stomp really hard on the 2 liter bottle. The rocket should quickly fly away a long distance. Let's look at this experiment a little closer. At the start of our experiment, the bottle and pipe are full of air molecules. These molecules press on the walls of the bottle with an equal force known as pressure as the air molecules in the outside environment. What happens next is a great example of Newton's third law of motion. His third law states that for every action, there is an equal or opposite reaction. When we stomp on the bottle, we cause the action, which reduces the volume of space the air molecules take up, increasing the pressure within the bottle above the pressure outside. The bottle's pressure wants to be equal to the pressure outside. This is where the reaction comes into play. To balance out the pressure, air molecules rush out of the bottle, through the pipes, and press against the taped barrier in our rocket, with enough force to cause the rocket to shoot off the pipe and fly away balancing out the pressure inside and outside of the bottle. The more pressure that can be generated within our launcher, the further the rocket will fly. Well, that's it for Paper Rockets. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, consider supporting our next episode by becoming a patron on Patreon. The link is down below. And remember to subscribe for future episodes. Please remember to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. And if you have any suggestions for future experiments, put them down below. And if you have any questions about this episode or about science in general, let us know in the comments below or message us on Facebook and we'll try to help you out as best possible. Thanks for watching. Bye. Right. Now I'm a rocket. Whoosh. I wanted to be the rocket. Whoosh. 
Here at SciGuys, we're always curious how experiments turn out. So if you do these experiments at home, share a video or photo of them with us on our Facebook or Google Plus page. But remember to always ask your parents' permission before you share any photos or videos. Videos.